cities like London. Vibrancy. Reflections dancing in puddles. The rhythm of gnarly raw noise and soothing moments of silence. Being present. Being conscious. Capturing stillness and chaos. And all the shades in between. A turbulent symphony. A canvas full of echoing photons. Each stroke a rebellion against the mundane. That's the inspiration of cities like London. Yo, welcome back to another episode on this channel and I want to make one thing very clear and that is Lost in Translation is the very best film ever made, change my mind. Alright people, I've been to London for the very first time, which is ridiculous given the fact that I pretty much live around the corner and even this time I only had 48 hours. But I'm happy to announce that I found the definite way to surf the city as a photographer. And spoiler alert, it's not the Oyster card. Also, I always knew I had to visit London and when the time was right, I wanted it to be special. So I asked my brother to join me by popular demand which was mainly himself. And honestly, his pitch was convincing. You know, a questionable drinking habit and strong method acting skills are pretty much the only thing that I'm looking for as a second unit DOP. Now, maybe you remember that I've been asking you guys which camera to bring to my next trip. And the result was very clear. You wanted me to bring the Hasselblad. Now, the thing is, this is my channel and I can do whatever I want, even if it's the dumbest thing you can ever think of. Like, taking four different camera systems to a trip which no mentally sane person would ever do right right anyway london is almost as massive as my fear of death and we only had 48 hours so we had to be creative in order to get places efficiently and here's the thing forget about the oyster card skip uber ditch the bus system and get yourself a 200 minute ride path from line for 19 pounds and thank me later. There's literally no better way to travel London than taking an electric bike.
As you know, I'm usually trying to convey a sense of atmosphere or even emotion through color. Now, if you've been following me for a while here on YouTube, you might have noticed that just recently, after so many years, I have started trying to evoke that same energy through the lack of color. And I'm starting to enjoy it, especially in combination with a 35mm camera and 36 shots from a single roll of film, which gives you a little more headroom for failure. Seriously, London is almost as big as New York City, but the bike lanes are incredible. I mean, was I prepared to literally die in left-hand traffic that weekend? Absolutely yes. But it only took us a couple of minutes in the field and we were flat out Tokyo drifting the city. Thank you. 
So we've been roaming the city. We literally saw every single landmark. We went shopping at Harrods. We had some great food. But the one thing we haven't done at that time was to enjoy the spectacular view from one of London's skyscrapers. And that's exactly what we did next. Stay asleep Okay, all in all, I can confirm London is a good city. Apart from that, I'm proud to say me and King Charles have something in common and that is I managed to convince the homeboys of Fortnum and Mason in the Royal Exchange Hall to open their store super early in the morning just for me to grab some way overpriced but super sick Assam tea. And I genuinely think this is the weirdest thing I've ever been proud of. I hope you enjoyed this video, it's been a ton of work and if you did, please consider to subscribe and check out some of the other videos, I really need to get those watch hours in by July and I guess that's it, see you soon, peace. I got you hooked, I'm just a little